three, two, one. Yo, what's happening, guys? It's Paul Wolfie here. We are back. Now, the first thing you want to do on this video, as always, is hit that like button, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already, and also hit that bell so you do get a notification every time I do drop a new video. But if you are regular around here, then you do know it is 11 a.m. without fail every single day of the week. 365 days a year, or as someone said in the previous comment, 366 days this year. And last but not least, my Twitch channel is down in the description below, www.twitch.tv forward slash Connor Wolf. If you want to come over and watch all my streams, go and do that. It's a really, I, I think my stream's a nice positive place, man. Unless I lose in the weekend league, then it might get a little bit toxic, you know. Just putting a bit of a disclaimer right there. Now, in today's video, what we have got for you today, boys, is, in my opinion, the best 2 million coin squad builder team on FIFA 20 as of right now. Again, this is using no untradeable cards. So it's just 2 million with all the 11 players. I don't like to use oh, it's 2 million coins with an untradeable R9 in the team. Because it's obviously not a 2 million coin team, then is it? It's just a 2 million coin team, flat out, no untradeables. It's a team that I'm actually using this weekend league, bar 3 players. You'll see the left hand side, I'm not using that side. But... These cards are insane, by the way. And I wanted to mix it up a little bit. Rather than just going the usual uh, Neymar and Bappe, which I have done in these squad builders, I wanted to go down like the team of the season route and use some cards that have got a super juice stats at the end of the day and are actually insane having used them. So... Let's get into it. 2 million coins. The next one will be a 3 million coin. I really do enjoy these series and you guys show a lot of love to it. So it's definitely something that I will be carrying on 100%. Even as the game dimes down, I still want to do those daily uploads. Get that grind in on the FIFA 20 grind. Although the FIFA 20 grind's over. But you know what I'm saying, boys. Get that grind in so we're at a good head start for FIFA 21. Now, let's go back to normal size. Hello. Here we are. In goal, we have got... Hamid, he's coming in at around about 30, 40,000 coins. Oh my lord, this keeper's good, by the way. Like, the th the key thing that you want to look on keepers, okay, and, and what makes them good compared to the other keepers is how tall they are. You want at least six foot two or above. The only uh, exception I made to that is to Stegen. So, for example, Hamid is six foot three. Three star wee foot is irrelevant, but another, the, the most key stat this year, in my opinion, on goalkeepers is reflexes, okay? You want that reflexes to be 90 and above flat out, okay? When, what the reflexes stat means is how, like, like how quickly they can react to something. If they pull off a shot near post, can he, like, get his reflexes down to save it? Ah. Hit my tooth. That hurt. <laughs> um... How quickly they can get down and save it. So, the high 90s or 90 and above is a key thing. And a key trait that I always say on these squad builders that you need to look for in a keeper, in my opinion, is the comes for crosses trait. You want your keeper to try and come for as many crosses as he can. The reason being, is you, we've all been in them games in the weekend league where you're like, why is my keeper not come for that cross? Like, why? What's he doing? But, anyway... In my opinion, probably one of the... In terms of value, one of the best keepers on the game, that shadow of that. I've used him and I absolutely love him. Absolutely love him. Now, for the right back. Oh, my Lord. This card is good, by the way. You can see here, I do actually have him because I'm using a lot of these players this weekend on the RTG. Five foot nine. I don't know how you say his name. I'm going to say Miera. Marea. Marera. I'm just going to call him Mo. I'm going to call him Mo. Mo... Four star we for three star skills, five foot nine, high medium work rates. What do I always tell you about a fullback? What you want to look at? I always say it in these squad builders. As long as they're quick, so high acceleration and high sprint speed, as long as they've got high agility and high balance and high stamina, you can use any fullback on this game. And if they've got them key stats in the high 90s, they're gonna be they're gonna be insanely good on this game. In fact. For the value as well, for 40,000 coins, he might even be a little bit lower because I brought him last night during a lot of like the peak buying on a Thursday night. So you could even get him probably a little bit less. But honestly, this card is insane. Absolutely incredible. Love him. Absolutely love him. Now, you might see a bit of a theme with this team. Look at this card for a centre-back. Okay. 46,000 coins for that. 91 pace, 6 foot 2, medium, medium work rates, 4 star weak foot. Look at the agility and the balance, the reactions, the composure, the jumping, the strength. Need I say any more about this card? Lana real. For 40,000, for 46,000 coins, you can't go wrong. I'm being real. These MLS cards are absolutely insane. Now, obviously, a lot of people that are watching this video... This team is heavily MLS based themed. So unless you've got, unless you want to go for the full MLS or like half MLS or you've got a few icons to link them up, they are hard to link up. I know that. 
But like, just look at them as a whole. They are insane. I'm going to be using a full MLS team on my road to glory this weekend. There's a bit of a challenge here. We can get top 100 on the sweatiest weekend league of all. The ultimate tots. Can we do it with an MLS team? That is the challenge. But yeah, this card. And then you could probably guess who the next centre back is, right? <laughs> 96 pace. Six foot two. Medium high work rates. What am I seeing? Oh my lord. Look at the agility and the balance on this card as well. Look at the reactions. Look at the composure. If this card played in the Premier League, you're looking at a two million two million coin card. Fact. The fact he's only 300 grand is just because he plays in the MLS. And like I've said, unless you get an MLS themed team or a lot of icons, it's going to be very hard to link. But look at that. 90 acceleration, 99 sprint speed. I mean, this card is just a joke. 99 agility, 94 balance, 99 re I mean, just what can you say about that card? Unbelievable card. Now, left back. I've gone with Tagla Fico because I didn't want to go with like a full MLS theme. I wanted to try and get a few other players in there. So, left back a card that I have used. I used him last weekend on my road to glory. Tagla Fico, unbelievable card. 5 for 8, high, high work rates. Once again, what do I always say about a full back? As long as they've got in the 90s agility and sprint speed, the 90s agility and balance, and high 90s stamina. Doesn't matter who the left back are, they're going to be good. Fact. So, yeah, absolute beast of a card. Now, one of your CDMs. I got him out of the uh, MLS pack this weekend, you know, the SPC. 5 foot 11, medium, medium work race. Atuista, I want to say, is it Atuista is his name? I hate saying the names in case I pronounce it wrong because I'm so bad at pronunciations at names. But yeah, two-star skill moves is a bit meh. But again, in CDM, you don't really need the skill moves that much. Four-star Wii is good. Five foot 11. Medium, medium work race is really good. And look at that card, man. Absolutely unbelievable card. I will be using this team extensively this weekend for all 30 games. I'm actually really excited to use it. I'm... I'm literally recording this video just before I'm about to go live on Friday morning to play the first set of 15 weekend league games with the MLS team. So I'm really excited to use it. But yeah, absolute beast of a card. Now, Joseph Martinez. Five foot seven, high medium work rates, four star, four star. That looks a bit of a meh card when you look at it like that. But then you look at his in games. I mean. 99 positioning, 99 finishing, 97 shot power, 99 agility, 99 balance, 97 reactions, 95 ball control, 91 dribbling, 90 composure, 99 jumping, 90 strength. I mean, just... This card is only 500 grand. He's actually a little bit less now, I think. He's only 490 grand, once again, because he plays in the MLS. You put this card in the BPL or the Serie A or the La Liga Santander or the Bundesliga or the Liga Un. This card's like a million coin card. Easy. Maybe even more. You just can't go wrong. You can't go wrong. Absolute beast of a card. And then my other CDM is going to be Van de Beek. Absolute beast of a card. I used him a little bit last weekend. Really good. He's a lot better than what I thought he'd be. In terms of like, it's just general agility and balancing on the ball. He's got the outside of the foot shot trait, which is really key. He's just a really good card, man. Just a really, really, really good card. Now for the right wing, I've, I know I've got Van de Beek and Vela red. But I haven't put them a red in the squad builder. I've put them, you not having the card, you not having the cards. Okay. So, you can afford this team. It is like 2 million. It's like 2 million and 50,000 coins on Xbox and like 1.9 million on PS. It's a little bit cheaper on PS, actually. High low work race, 5 foot 10. Absolute beast of a car. Look at that. Once again, what do you want from a winger? High speed, high agility, high balance, good ball control, good dribbling. Just beast of a card. You cannot go wrong with it. Fact. Now, this card. Oh, my Lord. Look at his stats. Po I'm going to call him Ali. Ali with a 5-star weak foot. It's huge. Okay, unbelievable card. He'll be playing up front for me this weekend in the RTG Weekend League. I'm really excited to use him. Outside of the foot shot trait, finesse shot trait, the flare trait, I don't really know what that does. But the outside of the foot shot trait and the finesse shot trait are the key ones you want to be looking at. They are really key stats. And then last but not least, team of the season, Quincy Promes. Five-star skill moves, four-star four star weak foot. You guys know all about him. He's been very much hyped this year. And he is a very good card. I did enjoy him a hell of a lot. Now, that is how you look at the team in-game. Everyone is on 10 chem, apart from Poz uh, Ali. Al Ali is the only one that's not on 10 chem. He is on 7 chem. Obviously, Martinez will be 10 chem if you put him down to a centre mid, etc. So, that's how you started to get the most chemistry. And then, in-game, if you wanted to go for a 4-2-3-1, I would play it like so. 4-2-3-1, I would play Poz... Wait, where's Van der Beek? There he is. I would play Posey Weller up front. I'll call, uh, I'll just say Ali. I'll play Ali up front. 
just because of the weak foot, okay? The weak five-star weak foot's huge. And then Martinez on the wing. But if you want to use Martinez because he's the most expensive player up front, I would 100% recommend that. And I'd probably play po Ali in camp like that. I think that would really work. Especially with his passing. He's got really good passes. That's so he could definitely work in a cam roll, 100%. And then if you want to go for a 4-4-2... I would use Martinez and Ali up front, like so. Bam, bam, bang. I would use... Which one would I use to get forward more? Yeah, Van der Beek. I would use Van der Beek as what you call like your ball-playing CDM to get forward more, etc. And that is how I would use it. I hope you guys did enjoy this video. The next one in the series is going to be a 3 million coin squad builder. I hope you did enjoy this. I tried to make it a little bit more fun, not use like my Neymar, my Mbappe and stuff. Try to make it a little bit more interesting. I hope you guys did enjoy it, and I will see you next time. Peace.